PlayStation Nation, I know there's a lot of information going out there about power, but we gotta get our senses about this. Let's talk. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this episode of The Medicine. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Okay, so... I know a lot of my PlayStation brethren, they've been very happy over my content over the past few days or weeks. They're like, yes, you're kicking Phil's ribs in. We see him coughing up blood. Yes, yes. And look, that's not what it's about here. Wherever I see problems, we go and we look at ways to diagnose and prescribe the resolution why it's called the medicine <laughs> now i see a humongous sickness over there with xbox but that don't mean i don't see a couple of sniffles in, 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 in <laughs> over here at playstation nation you know what i'm saying uh look man one of the most disheartening things that i'm seeing right now is while i'm trying to prepare my xbox brethren to get out of la la land and get themselves focused so they can get their execs focused on what matters to games I gotta pull y'all back out of the weeds too because I'm seeing a few of y'all act like the happening <laughs> that M. Night Shyamalan movie, right? Is that it, the happening? Where people was jumping into wood chippers and stuff like that over some, some crazy airborne mind control substance? Why are y'all, this is what I'm asking. Why are y'all focused on power? Why do you even care? I mean, look, let me back up a little bit. And I was enlightened by something that Next Gen 720 Z done told me during the podcast recently. He said, if you really think about it, y'all, PlayStation never jumped into a generation where at the time that they jumped in, they were the least powerful. Again, I repeat, he said PlayStation never jumped into a generation of gaming where at the time they entered, they were the least powerful. Think about it. PlayStation 1, they were more powerful than the Sega Saturn, right? And the PlayStation 2, when they hopped in, the moment they hopped in, they were more powerful than the Dreamcast, even though the Xbox would come in later and be more powerful when they hopped in. They said, Bo, get out the way. You know what I'm saying? And they were the most powerful. PlayStation 3, and I get it. I see where there's charts where the 360 man had more teraflops or whatever. Look, we all know that the PlayStation 3, despite my personal disdain for the console, whatever you may feel about it, that the PlayStation 3 was more powerful. That thing was powering up supercomputers. Okay, so the PlayStation 3 was more powerful. And of course, this current generation, the PlayStation 4 was more powerful. All right, so now that we have that out of the air, I get it. For those that are familiar with the pedigree of the system, y'all now know that power is kind of how PlayStation runs into things. But if the PlayStation 3 generation didn't tell you anything, it showed you that power doesn't mean everything. Because even though they came in more powerful than they ever have, with that thing, the PlayStation 3 that was going to power up toasters and, and open up refrigerator doors and end up powering supercomputers, that that wasn't it, Slick. It was all about the games. It was all about the games and the experience that you were putting forth. And right then and there, at that time, it was Xbox that was putting out the premier experience. So the reason why I'm disheartened is because I see a lot of you guys that see this 12.7 to 12.5 or whatever the hell teraflops it is from Xbox. And y'all like, man, we only got 9.2. And look, I'm not even the biggest PlayStation. I can't even, I'm not, even, not only am I not the biggest PlayStation fan, 
but I, I, I'm, I can't even consider myself a PlayStation fan. <laughs> it's just I do a lot of business talk and the business reporting here on the gaming side. So I always say, as Neethals make fun of me, I always say that I respect PlayStation's business gangster. Okay? And as a gamer, PlayStation is sending out the olive branch to me because they're saying we're willing to address the hardcore gamer. We are letting you know specifically that we are making games for the hardcore gamer where we don't hear Microsoft say anything in that realm. They are afraid to utter those words. So it, me as someone from the outside looking in even, I look at what Microsoft or excuse me, PlayStation did with 1.8 teraflops. When I had my 6.0 teraflop machine and I was hugging it, <laughs> this is great resolution. And they dropped that God of War on the 1.8 teraflop machine. And it looked better than anything at my at the time on my 6.0 teraflop machine. Almost 4.4 times the power that the competitor had and they still dogged them out. So I asked y'all, I wanna close out with this, cause it really doesn't take a lot of time to digest this and let this sink in. I asked y'all, what the hell do y'all think Sony could do if they still got the talent intact with 9.2 teraflops versus 12.7, if they were able to do what they were able to do with 1.8, versus six teraflops. What are we doing out here? Like stop all this silly jumping in the weeds chasing, all right? Let's stay focused on the games. Let's stay focused on the nuanced experience. And for those of you within the PlayStation Nation that know better, y'all better smack some of these silly mugs upside of their heads. Stop showing stats of 15.0 teraflops, triple dual GPUs and the units is powered by the time flex to, to, uh, to pacificator. Stop it. Slap them in the face. Tell them to wake the hell up. It's all about the development talent and the nuanced experience that they put in our hands. And if they got 9.2 teraflops, they got a heck of a lot to make that happen. And with that, that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, Stadia Dose. With that being said, now PlayStation Nation, I'm telling you, those that know better, slap these silly mugs. And you silly mugs, stop falling for the okie doke, all right? There's a lot more material y'all can report on than this bogus crap. Y'all have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.